that's a very tempting one. How much is he anyway? $29.99. It looks like someone was hungry. Someone had the munchies here in Munchie, Indiana and was chewing on his tag. All right, guys, we are back on the road. Today we are in Muncie, Indiana at Muncie Mall at this Spirit Halloween, which used to be a Carson's, I believe. Speaking of munchies, where in the heck did I put those peanut butter cups? Anyway, Spirit Halloween in Muncie, Indiana. I believe this is Spirit number 34, guys. We are out here filming 100 Spirit Halloween stores this season. And this is number 34, Muncie, Indiana. Let's go see what they have to offer. Oh, this is a huge store, guys. Oh yeah, I can already see they have lots of animatronics down the hallway here. Right past Mr. Farquad here with the red eyes and the giant nostrils. All right, let's just go ahead down here. Let's look around the store a little bit and see what they have before we get into the animatronics. Holy crap, I take it back. What in the world happened to this guy? One eye. He read the map wrong with his one eye. I guarantee some TikTok idiot was in here and punched him. Anyways, okay, so they have two, three Grimms right here for sale. Holy crap, guys. I don't think I've seen this guy in any stores whatsoever yet. The Deadly Creeper. I may have seen him at the flagship. Excuse me, sir, I'm talking to the Deadly Creeper. I may have seen him at the flagship store, but I'm not even sure. Shorty is just a camera hog. Why is he... <laughs> he just continued to move for like a full minute after he did his bit. Wow, he sounds really crazy. Okay, that definitely sounded different from any other shorty I've heard. And look at him, he's just continuing to move back and forth. Okay, I can't help it. Listen to Grim. can you hear his jaw tapping on his neck? There are a lot of crazy sounds going on in this store, guys. <laughs> All right, we got two Lord Ravens here. We have a straw man and a nozzles. Oh my gosh, I love the straw man so much. And since I'm out driving the RV again and I don't have spaces for these guys, I've devised a plan. When I see one I want, I'm gonna call my son and tell him to take the Hummer and go buy it. Or I'll just order it online. Okay, so anyways, over here we have a bunch of jumping spiders and we have two fogging skull piles. All right, we can see that we have some of these guys set up over here. Let's go ahead back here though because I do see that they have two Reagans on the floor. Oh, and we have some more jumping spiders and a giant sandworm groundbreaker. We've got animated greeter dolls and sinister spirit dolls. We've got Chucky greeters and Sam greeters. Hello, rat. Ooh, not only do they have the empty soul girl on a swing, like, I don't know, four of them, they also have the swinging witch. Cracked skull zombie groundbreakers. Oh, we have the creepy cats, but I don't see the secret keeping cats. Have you seen the secret keeping cats? I am glad that they're playing some spooky Halloween music in here, though. We got lots of life-size posable blacklight skeletons. Oh my gosh, an old Carson's price check sign. Anyway, the zombie babies. <laughs> hey, I get easily sidetracked. We've got the devil and the vampire door knockers. Zombie arm pathway markers. Oh look, we also have the How does that foot smell, sir? We got a couple of creepy dolls here. We have the creepy baby doll, the eerie Emma, and the decrepit Donna. Is that it? Yeah, I guess that's it. Okay, back over here for a minute for the inflatables. We have the jack-o'-lantern archway, the scary clown archway. We have, oh, no, this is the same one, the same jack-o'-lantern archway. I thought it was something different. Anyway, we got a stack of jack-o'-lanterns, a haunted tree. We got the reaper. We got the ghost. We've got this secret-keeping cat and the tombstone. That looks like 
it for the inflatables. Did I say about the haunted spooky tree? I think I did. We got some different life-size skeletons here. I don't think these are black light reactive though. And look at this one. This is a reaper with wings. Oh crap, I wanted to see if his wings actually went up and down. All right, in the kids section, they have the regular ghost faces and the devil faced dead by daylight. And usually, okay, yeah, I was gonna say the, usually the adult scream stuff is over here besides Monty. Monty doesn't exist. And unfortunately, most of the new ghost face stuff doesn't either. They do have this viper face, but honestly, I don't care about this one at all. All I like is like the regular ghost face one like this, like in the scream movie. Okay, I did notice these Halloween masks over here. I do not see any Halloween kills masks. I believe they were supposed to come out on the 15th, but I don't know. We got Halloween one. We got Halloween 2. We have this Halloween 2 Jolly Fellow, which is just a face, and Halloween from 2018. Oh, hold on. They have one of our Spirit Scream Face logo shirts. That is awesome. What the heck? I don't think I've seen the Hopper costume. What is it? Just It's just the jacket and the hat. What the heck? I think I've already seen all these other Stranger Things costumes, but I do like the Surfer Boy pizza t-shirt. I could go for some pizza right now. Guys, I love the inflatable costumes, but look at this. I don't think I've seen these anywhere. The Poe and Tinky Winky Teletubbies inflatable costumes. Like, Teletubbies must be making a comeback or something. Because it seems like they have a whole lot of Teletubbies costumes in these stores this year. I love the inflatable rubber chicken costume, too. That is hilarious. We almost missed these guys. We have the new Chucky. I don't know. I keep calling him new, but I've never seen him before except for so in stores this year. Animated Chucky and animated Tiffany. She looks totally different from the other ones I've seen. The ones that I keep saying look like Madonna. All right, let's see if nozzles will work here. All right, he's working. His eyes aren't lit up. Neither are his nozzles, and he has no fog. At least he's talking, though. And I hear no commotion coming from the electricity room. It, oh my gosh, how strange to be walking through here right now, and it's like so silent that it's almost echoing. It's like an abandoned building. All right, Mr. Jumpy is suspended in midair. Let's see if we can get Reagan going here. Oh, crap, of course she would work. I have to hear her evil phrases. You're evil! All right, there goes the head spin, and there's the projection. I'm out of here, I'm out of here. Oh, I totally forgot we were looking for Michael Myers' mask. <laughs> this is actually a pretty cool mask, this Desert Raider. And I always love the alien masks. They are so cool. Oh, look, they have the Night Stalker mask. This is a totally different mask than the Night Stalker animatronic, of course. Yeah, look how he lights up. That is awesome. Holy crap, guys, look at this. They have the nozzles and the wacky mole masks. All right, I think the eyes are supposed to light up. Yes, look at that. And Nozzles, for some reason, is just called Toxic Clown, but there his eyes light up too, and I love how he has the jalapeno nose. That's so cool that they have them, but strangely, I don't see any more Michael Myers or anything like it back here. I do like this smiley guy. All right, let's go over here into the laboratory and see what's going on with these two fellows. All right. Young Crouchy, are you gonna work? Well, okay, here he goes. Young Crouchy is actually working. That hair is an absolute atrocity. He must have gone through the electrifying room of death. And then we got Barry over here. Let's see if we can get him going. Okay, well, his eyes light up, but that's about it. How strange. All right, Barry, I see you got a little bit of life in there. At least this is working. All right, we're gonna leave a bunch of stickers right by Crouchy behind the bubbles of death. Oh, they do have the plush skelly bones. That's a very tempting one. How much is he anyway? $29.99, it looks like someone was hungry. Someone had the munchies here in Munchie, Indiana and was chewing on his tag. All right, let's look at these masks real quick. I've only seen a couple of these turtle ones. I think it was Michelangelo and 
Man, I don't even remember who the other one was, but I've only seen two of them so far. All right, I need to see if they have some more. Hold on, look at these teeth. For when you carve a pumpkin, you can put the glow-in-the-dark pumpkin fangs in. That is awesome. Anyways, so I need to see if they have some more of these. I don't really want the Haunted Mansion ones, but what I do need are those universal ones. I only have, I think, 10 to open, and I want to have 16. Oh my gosh, I almost tripped over a nothing. <laughs> Yeah, we already opened a whole box of these and a whole box of these, and there's none of those available. Anyway, um, I don't see any of the others. What the heck is this? A squish dude. That reminds me of Patrick from SpongeBob. Yeah, we have some of these universals, but these are not the ones. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's a Michael Myers in that one. I might want to get some of these. And then they have Beetlejuice, too. There was somebody telling me I should get the Beetlejuice ones. Oh, and I did a short with this guy the other day, and everybody went, like, ballistic over him. Whereas there's a button on the back. It's a little sleeping sloth. Listen to that. <laughs> that thing is hilarious. Oh, he didn't say hi to the bog zombie. All right, hold on. Let's get him going here. Wow, something is definitely happening in Munchie, Indiana. Man, if people have been in here punching these things, that makes me so mad. That's so ridiculous. Sorry, Bog Zombie. Well, they do have the hanging ghost face figure. Let's see if he actually lights up here. No? Yes, this one works. He is pretty cool, actually. You could hang him from a tree, and he could blow in the wind. And they do have some bobbleheads over here, but it's pretty much overtaken by Gizmo. We have one ghost face here. And we have Michael carving the pumpkin. Yeah, I'm glad it lights up. That's pretty cool. And then we do have the Pennywise sidestepper. Is he going to work? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Mr. Pennywise. All right, guys, that's it for Muncie, Indiana. And every time I say it, I think of the word munchie because I am one hungry king of the world. Mm -hmm.